This video is about making an incredibly simple and cheap static grass applicator. I'll take you through the entire process of making one of these. I'll start by discussing the benefits, then I'll take you step by step through the build out and then show you how it performs. We'll make some grass tufts using a 12 volt power supply and then some grass tufts using a 9 volt battery power supply. We'll show you pictures of those grass tufts. If you're interested, a parts list for this static grass applicator is below the video. Aside from being very low cost, let's look at the other benefits of the static grass applicator. It gives you a 15 kilovolt static field. The grass stands up straight and tall, very powerful. This static grass applicator of this type is extremely versatile. You'll find you can do a lot of things that you can't do with a shaker or fly swatter. You make grass dispensers to suit your needs. That's important. We'll show you how to do it and how to use them. You can use this as power for a DIY flock box. You'll see that operating later in this video. You can add grass in low overhead areas, along building walls, in and around tunnel entrances, and in ditches. Again, we'll show you how to do that. You can make grass tufts incredibly fast. Watch them being made later in the video. You can add branches to tree armatures, wire or plastic. This is a powerful unit. You can lay multiple colors and layers of grass in one pass. There's no need for layering sprays. And it's easy to make. You'll see that. Just keep watching. All right, let's look at the parts we're going to use. We use a 15 kilovolt DC anion generator. This one made especially for static grass applicators. We need a switch. Choose the switch especially designed for high voltage. You got 15 kilovolt DC plastic switch. Won't get shock off this one. You'll need an alligator clip for your grounding wire to ground to your substrate. And then two sets, male and female, uh, banana clips. The ground and power in. Four screws that will be used in the tabs to hold it down. And some solderless connectors. You need something to put your parts on. The board, this is a piece of MDF I just put some spray paint on it, uh, it's 24 by 18 centimeters. Uh, and then a couple pieces of scrap pine, I'll put those on the side uh, for legs, so to speak. You can put whatever else you want, but you'll need some room because you'll have your wire underneath and the switch, which have a little bit of depth to them. Now we assemble the parts. We put them on the board and lay them out where we want them. The applicator put in the center. What we're going to do is drill a couple of holes here so we can run that wire down under the board. We'll drill a hole here. We'll drill holes in each of the tabs and you've got screws, we'll screw them down. We'll put the switch in. You drill a round hole to start, but this is actually a square unit. So you'll have to square it out with a file. And then of course, each of your banana clips, drill holes and put them in place. We'll run the wire underneath and measure the wire and then cut it to the appropriate length. So that should be all we have to do at this point. Uh, let's go on to the next step.
this is what it looks like after I've drilled the holes. I put three wires through this hole, and this is the 15 kilovolt DC wire here. And then this will be the output side. We'll go over to my grasshopper and the grounding wire. I put the switch on this side because I want to stay away from that 15 kilovolt DC. So I use a 20 millimeter drill and the switch pops right in and two uh, female parts of the banana clip. I, I am now ready to show you the bottom. This is what the bottom looks like. You'll see the switches inserted. I have the power in wires, the green wire, which is the grounding wire, and the black wire for the 15 kilovolt DC. I'm going to cut these wires back. I, I'm going to have to cut this red one about here because we'll insert it into one side of the switch. Then I'll use another piece of that wire to make a jumper from here to here. This will get cut, cut again. Now we're all wired up. The black 15 kilovolt DC wire goes to the red female banana clip connector and the green goes to the black. The black is your grounding wire. That 15 kilovolt is your hot. That's why it goes to the red. On the input side, power in, we run the power in through the switch. In and out. So we got this piece of wire when we cut, cut this back. Then the black goes over here and we're all wired up. Our static grass applicator power unit is complete. This is what your static grass applicator looks like. Now we have to add some power, power it from any 12 volt DC uh, supply, be that a wall wart, uh, your computer power supply. You also use a 9 volt DC battery. Many people prefer the battery, it makes it portable. I'll show you how good it performs with a 9 volt battery. As for the output side, we have to add the grounding wire and grasshoppers. I'll show you what they look like and how to make them. Let's look at some of the tools you're going to need. You'll need a grass dispenser. This is one, I, one of my favorites. It's a nothing more than a tea strainer that's stuck in a piece of poly pipe and the pipe wrapped with insulating tape. Of course wire is connected to the strainer and banana clip very effective. You don't have to make these tools. They don't come with the uh, the parts generally, uh, but they use this a lot for teasing grass, for low, small grass, one, two millimeter, and teasing grass. When I add the grass by my fingers, you'll see that in my tutorials. Then, of course, you need a grounding wire, something to ground to your substrate, alligator clip connected to wire, banana clip, and you'll use that a lot. Then to cover larger areas, a vegetable strainer made the same way. A vegetable strainer, you can use it as a shaker. Put a jar on it and, and shake or shake this way. Again, insert it in pipe, wrapped with tape, and a clip on it. Finally, a very useful tool. I, I use this a lot. Alligator clip connected to a big, thick piece of wire stuck inside a dowel and the, the wire run along wrapped with tape. This I use to add wire, uh, branches to wire trees uh, to make static grass trees and to make flowers and grass tufts incredibly fast. This, I, to this I add a piece of screen and that screen develops a heck of a charge. 
I put paper on it, dot it with glue, and make my tufts for my flowers, weeds, gardens, whatever. I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make, I'll show you how this pulls with 12 volts. And while I'm doing it, I'll uh, make some grass tufts. Now, we come over the top and watch that grass pull right up there. Look how high that goes, how fast that goes. I've got a mix of a couple of different grasses on there because I'm making some tufts. I'll use them in my layout later on, later on. Look at that. I'll show you the I'll show you the tufts in another picture after I make them. But this is how well this unit pulls. And I guarantee you this, if you like making grass tufts, you'll never make tufts faster than this. They're absolutely beautiful. And again, Look at that. What I'll do now is I'll move on and I'll show you uh, how this responds with a 9 volt battery attached. Now we're attaching a 9 volt battery uh, to the simple applicator. And I'll show you how the unit responds with a 9 volt battery attached to it. You can attach this 9 volt battery to either the simple unit, the regular standard kit, or the prestige model. Now we'll go over here and we'll adjust the light a little <coughs> bit, excuse me. Now let's see what happens. I got my tool. Let's turn the battery on. Look at it pull. Isn't that amazing? Not quite as powerful as the 12 volt battery, but I guarantee you, look at those tufts. Fast and easy. A lot of guys, they like to use the battery because it makes the unit very portable. They move it anywhere they want. Look at that pow pulling power of that unit. That's just a little, little battery. 9 volts. And you saw what it did with 12 volts. This is an amazing anion generator and static grass applicator. I'll show you the tufts in a bit. These are the tufts before the glue dried on the paper. I press the grass a bit to make it look more like grass that one would find in a meadow, part of it fallen down, pressed down, walked on. But notice how those tufts are nice and fluffy. Those are flexible tufts. The glue is flexible. You can put them anywhere. I'm going to put these into a, an uncomfortable field. I'll fill in between the tufts with other uh, tufts at, in different colors and I'll make some other weeds and add some trees. But these are easy to make. You can see it and you can see the results you get with this simple applicator. If you wish, you can just get the anion generator used in this video. You can get a complete parts package or you can go further and get a complete kit to make a static grass applicator or you can get a plug and play static grass applicator ready to use all the links to those products you can get them on amazon ebay or in our store the links are below thank you for watching